Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Tony, <laughs> welcome to the Tony welcome show. Welcome to the Tony show. <laughs> Everyone rushed here, it's good. <laughs> no, but um, it's not the Tony show, ladies and gentlemen. It is hashtag beer time. I actually for- forgot there. I needed to start <laughs> talking. I needed to bring in the, the conversation to start everything. This is the podcast all about beer and we are going to do something, well, along those lines today. Let's welcome the four gentlemen all dressed in black we're all dressed in the mm-hmm. same what's going on here it's like we're in a club or something no. <laughs> like we're part of some secret cult yeah. but speaking of a cult or something that sounds like a cult but it's car toss. we've got the car toss homebrewers club here it is great carl tony and ross and then of course myself t-bone gents how's it how's it how's it what's up Morning. thank Good you all for right. uh, putting this together there's a little bit of a impromptu thing but i think once we once we mentioned beer tasting or beers i think all our ears taste buds kind of pick up <laughs> let me let me lean back here but i think we had a really good show i think it was four weeks ago yes i think the people, very good show the people have spoken that the ratings were out of through the roof oh, by the way best ever so i think people are very happy with uh, the caliber of uh, guests that we have on the show so (laughs) let me stop talking absolute (laughs) rubbish and drink some beers Greg you have a lot to say about these beers so we're going to try and and in general you you do tend to like the the, the, car (laughs) toss you do tend to uh, clip property away (laughs) but let's talk about the special beers that we have on offer I'm just going to say one thing, Pipeworks. Pipeworks. It is Pipeworks. Um, this has been a, a four-year story since I was in Chicago in 2015. And what do you do as a beer guy in Chicago? You find a beer festival, uh, the West Loop Beer Festival. I did. Um, the funny thing about American beers is you trip and fall into double IPA. And uh, I did over there, and one of them happened to be Pipeworks. Uh, and I got chatting. It was literally... I think probably a 10 minute conversation um, with a guy by the name of Jim Mannion. Thanks, Jim. Uh, got, a, got, a, got a beer from them called Blood of the Unicorn, which is their uh, hoppy American amber. Blood of the Unicorn. Blood of the Unicorn. Um, yeah, and then notice Sounds that. Sounds like a beer we would make. Something yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's uh, the name already. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I got chatting anyway. Uh, have been in contact once or twice or three or four or five or six times over the last couple of years and have never managed to get my hands on a range of pipework beers besides mates going over and everything they are local in Chicago who's this gym guy? Uh, this gym guy is one of the guys I, I think he might be one of the partners Jim you can correct me if I'm wrong but um, yeah he's, he's there and another guy by the name of Alex actually helped us out with these specific beers four years later that we now have in Cape Town, South Africa, that we're tasting today. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, and thanks, Jonks, who is the, the beer mule from should, Cape Town. Should who, we uh, feel, feel bad that we, it's just the five of us. No, no. Okay. <laughs> well, they're they 500 more beers. It's 100 more each or whatever. You know, that's, I think that's it, that, works good, out, that works out well. I'll actually, like I'm happy. happy. Yeah. I'm so happy can, can I ask a quick question? Is Can you get these beers locally? No. Yeah. Hell no. You can't get them in. Like super hell no. You can, be, you can barely get these beers across the states. Okay, yeah. so you have to really oh. know a mule of some kind. To get so which beer. one's first? I think I'll have a mule. <laughs> yeah. Um, just by the looks, it's, com- it's a different level. Yeah. Jeez, like, I mean, look at it. Just step into Willy Wonka meets. Yeah, <laughs> listen, these <laughs> guys. Bandicoot something. Like these that. guys put out a lot of beer. They put out a lot of crazy beer. While you while you're yes. talking, I'm going to crack <laughs> one open. Okay, Astro Dwarf. Astro Dwarf. I'll, I'll give you the quick rundown on this one. I have done a little bit of research. Uh, this is a collab with Ryan Guys Brewery in uh, in Ohio. It is a super juicy, a super juicy pale ale with uh, mosaic galaxy and Halitau oh, Blanc uh, hops. Oh, sure. So that's what we're looking at now. It does have a big brother, which is called the Astro Giant, um, which was the first collab, and then they made this one basically as a 
as a session version of that, as a bit of a summertime. Oh, did I give that back? Yeah, thank you very much. much. <laughs> uh, and he left. I'll take it. Thank yeah, you. Russ, Russ needs a little bit more, but look at that color, guys. It's, it's milky. It, eh? More than anything, it's milky, it's hazy. Oh, it smells so good. So yeah, this is, this is going to be a trip down, you know, a hop street, a USA sure. big juicy hop what street. Is, what is today. the... Now, when I started homebrewing, I used to make a lot of beers that looked like this, <laughs> but it didn't taste right. like it. Unintentional, <laughs> yeah. So the, the haze grade. Usually, I think you're ahead it, of the curve. Yeah, right? if you if you if you had to see some something get poured like this in a South African bar, you'd you you'd be like, oh, what's going on here? But I mean, so yeah, maybe it's my old school perceptions coming through. But Ooh, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a second chance here. Give it a go. That's hoppy. Yeah, it smells... What they... Oh, that's hoppy. What they say about this one is the Halatau Blanc hops give it a bit of a white wine character. And then all the rest of the stuff has got uh, tropical fruit papaya, you know, kind of like making a... Making a mimosa with some white wine champagne it does and a, a tropical yeah. fruit punch. Sure. It does have a dry... It's, it's got a dry... Dry, <laughs> dry wine, not wine even. It, it actually looks like the color looks like if you had to take Tropica, then you get two versions. You yeah. get the light one and the yeah. sort of darkish. If you mix them, yeah, it would come out something like this. The pineapple. It's stone. not. It's not too dry. It's not like no. when you yeah. would leave in your mouth very dry. This has got a. It almost feels like it's got a bit of lactose or something mm. sweet in there. That's just yeah. a little bit of residual sugar. But I mean, that's when you know when you you, you know the guys go and what it's a Astro Giant is the big one, and now the Astro Dwarf is the small summer session beer. And it's six percent, and it's the light, and it's the lightest beer we're gonna have today. <laughs> so this is the lightest beer we have. This is today. the lightest beer we having. Six percent. So we start in. We start in. Right. That's, what, that's why we. That's why we got four, not six beers. I guess hey, we. Um, it's, it's we know what happens when, when Greg starts having beers <laughs> a little bit higher than six percent. He starts. Uh, there was a famous. Uh, Sami Gates. What is it? Bribe Rookie Gates. Bribe Rookie Gates. Um, it burns everything. Yeah. Just well, everything good times. It, the, the way it looks. The label is next level. Yeah. yeah. Like that I is. Mean, look at it. Let's let's, let's, let's give it a, a close up here. Yeah, that's, and that's a yeah. pale. I mean, that's, that's, that's like a massive most of pale ale. <laughs> You're right. Like, that is a, that's not a pale ale in this country. That's, so a, that's an RPM. On the, on the yeah. can, it's got like these. Uh, are those like hop cones that are yeah, attacking? Like hop, hop chips, yeah. 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 We had a, a Ryan Geist before. It looks very. Uh, familiar, or maybe have I had a, a Ryan Geist? What do you mean? Have you? No idea. And you didn't share? No, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I yeah, haven't. He does, yeah. <laughs> I haven't. I've never seen it before. I haven't. That's what I'm going to leave it at. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I mean, these guys. These guys. City. Right. Oh, that's good. It's uh, it's crazy stuff. These guys literally. I mean, how's um, this artwork? I mean, that's just. But all of the artwork's crazy. Like you literally look at one of these, one of the things about these guys is I think, and I'm, I stand to be corrected, they wanted to put out, and it's been their ethos since 2012 when the brewery started, a beer a week. Gypsy Brewers it's making a, a beer a week. And it's nice that in the States you can do that and still have enough market that you sell out a week and everything yeah. like that, and you actually have enough of a market that you can do that. So, you know. That, I mean, from what I always understood, Gypsy Brewers were going from brewery to brewery. Mm. Working at, they didn't have a brewery, so yep. they had to make their beer somewhere yeah. else. So I suppose even if you had to have the same recipe, mm. the pale would still and you went to a different system. brewery every week, it would still be still a different beer from us. Quite different. It's so a hell of a challenge, though. To I mean, yes, I mean you would know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a challenge for me to put out one podcast a week. So can you imagine actually <laughs> a beer a week making plans to yeah. recipes? Oh. I suppose and it comes down to planning. That's mm -hmm. that's all it is. But the other thing is also one of those things is never make the same beer twice, which is kind of that's that I think it started out like that. Um, it's changed now, huh? Yeah. Look at me, I'm licking the glass. It's Warmed up a bit. <laughs> Would you drink that as a session beer? Mm -mm. Guess that's hefty. Yeah, I'd go. I'd, I'd get through one of them. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it's delicious. I'd, I think I'd, 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 it is. I'd chew Guys, my way through. This one was of them. at a festival. Yes, you drink and shit out of it. I would. I'd get. I'd get a pint. Really. Maybe get a little bit. Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's just a lot of commitment for. It's know, a lot like of hops. Yeah, a lot of hops. What happened to you guys? It's so weak. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we. we Look, it's not a business, We've had these beers before where we've discussed 
we, we've discussed is it a sharing beer is it a hundred moles sh- sharing beer or is it a one pint i suppose after pint? your first pint you'll be you're in it so yeah it's maybe it's you gotta look just, let's let's put it this way if if this was the only thing on offer at a festival oh, hell, or at, yeah <laughs> 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 Well, I wasn't going to drink. Yeah, it. I mean, you do get that what that, those three sip beers that uh, takes three sips to actually get into mm. the thing. Um, like it's hop juice. Yeah, this is full on hop juice. I'm happy. I'm. The guys are warming up. No, we're warming up. Look, it's you know we've got to have some of these talking. Well, no, no. no. <laughs> we can't just go. All oh, is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we don't here. Can I ask something? Sorry about this brewery. Are they still gypsy brewers? Mm. No. Um, I think, and Troy also can can back me up here because I think we did some Google research before this. Is that in? I think they started in 2012, and in 2012 when they did start, they were Rate Beer's new brewery of the year. But then crowd crowd funded a brewery Kickstarter campaign thirty thousand dollars. I think, I think that they, they sorry to interrupt. They, no, 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 go. They, I think that what what made them so interesting is that they they, they played they pandered to the the beer connoisseur, mm. the so which is we were speaking off air before this. But in the states, you, your your um, middle class is just so much bigger. We've we've spoken about this before on the show, but uh, I can mm. imagine that the the beer nerds or the Beer oh, lovers no, out there, is you just things, yeah. it's not even it's times a hundred what it is in South Africa, yeah. Yeah. maybe even a thousand, yeah, maybe a thousand. I think, yeah. So, when you bring us, if you if when we hear about one one once off releases happening in South Africa, yeah, you know, we're like, oh, let's let's make sure we get that, yeah. Now, can you imagine in the States what that what's that like, what that is like? So, I think when these oaks from Chicago, Pipeworks, um started making one beer a week and sort of moving that then once it was sold it was gone mm. and yeah. then it's almost like um it's a scene from finding nemo when the shark sniffs the blood then it's like, <laughs> yeah. like this is it so i need to uh, fish I need to, friends uh, yeah i need to get this so and then yeah so i think 23rd that's why they're, they're funding the kickstarter campaign was so successful yeah but also america has i suppose it's not a problem but like They'll make a beer in Chicago, and you can't get it in another state because it sells out. Mm. So, I mean, that's like an amazing problem to have. Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah. It goes around the whole country, and there's still some left over. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, like Dogfish Head, wasn't it? Like yeah. you, you can only get the beers in certain parts; they just don't go anywhere else. Yeah, I think. It's lots yeah, of we we can get into a whole different discussion about the the, the different state laws yeah. that they have there, and what who can distribute what, and which. Uh, brewery also, has a license even, yeah, thing, even crossing state lines is a problem with yeah. alcohol and it's yeah. oh, is it, is it, I thought it was just because it all sells out no I think that they're, 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 again I don't, I'm not yeah. too clued up and I know I that a lot of American listeners will know that uh, there, there are different laws for different states yeah. there are different prices there are different structures there are different regulations in terms of who can carry the beer who can stock it who can distribute um, mm. I know that this is not the states but um, no. I've heard of a friend who would uh, go between Ontario and oh my geography is not good but the next state in Canada and it'd literally be a, two different shops who would drive into out of states and you'd get a beer beers that were cheaper and it'd be even with the fuel and the petrol it would be still a lot cheaper and so Significant but, cheaper, but that's yeah. just price so I'm not ta- I'm not too sure about the explosion, not too yeah. I'm not, not shooting it. Are they flying away from the explosion? Yeah, like, 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 isn't it? Isn't it? Astros, it the, probably well, yeah. the dwarf exploded and now they're all flying away. Yeah. I imagine. Speaking about the can now. Yeah. You're listening. And you're <laughs> but dude, all yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was a dwarf. <laughs> there was, yeah, there's a dwarf <laughs> across the state line. Across the Yeah, what happened? <laughs> cheaper on the other side. This is amazing. And it exploded. It uh, pumped, up, <laughs> pumped up the production. Yeah. And dude, all, all, all of the cans are crazy. I mean, they've got another one, which is a pineapple guppy. Which is a pineapple pale ale, I think. We've there's got a bit of a theme one. today. Though. Dan- there's a danger fruit, danger fruit pale ale, which is pretty we're fair. Their, we're doing some of their hoppy beers. Yeah, this is just hops. I think this is on the on the IPA hoppy side of the street. We might as well look at that. Oh, should we? Should we look at that other one? I mean, let's. Uh, let's one. I mean, I think we're not, give I mean, it a bit we, of a we, rinse. We finished the conversation with. I think we finished it because we. I, I, I'm not too clued up on that because I don't. Well, Dude, I've got a bit of a side note story for you, which I found out the other day. We spoke about Finding Nemo and the shark. Yep. You know that that shark's name is Bruce. Yeah. Okay. Hello. You know, yeah, I'm Bruce. You know, I'm Bruce. You know, but you know that the sharks, the 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 animatronic shark in Jaws, 
was nicknamed Bruce. Really? The actual one that they got from the film. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know something. Now you know. Nice piece Three, of trivia. Two, 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 one. one. Never gets old. He's the Never. Okay, talk us through yeah, what, uh, take what's us going on here. Go this okay, one. so... Rooster. Yeah, Tropical. another super juicy. This is an Oat India Pale Ale, double dry hopped, um, with <laughs> mosaic and cryo mosaic hops. Oh. Cryo, you say. So this is the frozen. Uh, frozen. You know, you see. Did you ever see that scene in Terminator where like they freeze the dude with liquid nitrogen yes. and then crack it? Basically, they do that to whole hop cones. Okay. That's and cool. then they take out the little lupulin glands. So you're getting all the goodness. And not Rest a lot of that kind of yeah. grassy vegetable green stuff. A bit more and orange. And then they, cool, then they pelletize it like that. Yeah. Cool. Yes, that's very smart. A little bit more danky, a little danky, more stinky. stinky, man. <laughs> Some weedy, Chewy. weedy smells. Okay, so I want you to talk to us about cryo hops because <laughs> I think three weeks ago we were kind of, <laughs> two weeks ago we were kind of guessing in terms of what cryo hops is. You st- Tend to have a very good uh, well, explanation, but well, did you not just see a long Terminator explanation? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but that is it. The guys at, um, at I think it's YCH Yakima Chief and Hop Union uh, are busy oh. patenting a process where they get it, and you get a hop pellet now. It's called a Lupulin LN2. So that's what the I think the fancy name for cryo hops. Um, it's actually a process, and I can, again, it's no coincidence that weed and hops are so close together, mm. where you make something, and again, no expert, called bubble hash, where you freeze the... You freeze sound the, pretty cleared You sound like, pretty cleared you up. You sound like an expert. Yeah, you sound, like you, sound <laughs> like you've done this before. Yeah, um, where you are freezing the little crystals on the outside of the plant with ice and water, and then shaking it all out and the crystals get brittle they fall off and you basically filter everything out and you end up with all of the good stuff and none of the green vegetal matter and that's basically what they're doing here with the hops they freezing stuff and the lupulin glands freeze up they become brittle they break it all out and they separate the vegetal matter from the lupulin glands okay and so you literally got all the aroma and the hop oils without the kind of grassy yeah vegetal aspects of yeah. it we were talking about it on the show with marion hilton uh we, we were a little bit unsure in terms of what it was what cry hops were but I, that's what i what i summarized as being it's a separation of yeah. oils yeah by freezing cryo yeah. is the yeah it's all the good it's the, temperature it's all the good stuff um and consequently uh, you know if you look at it even as a home brewer and everything like that great for dry hopping it still comes pelletized and <laughs> There we go. It still comes pelletized, and but you're using about forty to fifty percent of the hops per gram um, by weight. So I imagine um, your, in the brewing brewing process. your brewing efficiency might be improved, especially your especially your dry hopping, less trouble, and your less aroma, your, yeah, your aroma hopping. I think what the guys do, or, or what I read, was that they still recommend using a combination of you know normal hops, pelletized hops, and then using the L, the cryo hops. For your dry hopping and your mm. aroma side of things. What do you guys think? That's good. Sure, this, this, is, is, this is delicious. This is talking. I'm talking too much. Bro. No, no, I need a is, chance for a sip. This so this is definitely uh, Ooh, a bigger brother of this one. It's got right. a little yeah. bit more uh, Ooh, hop intensity, smoother, eh? and there is a bit of but that initial fruity, fruity, chewy. Not too chewy, but like it's got the nice little mouthfeel. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a. Uh, you know what? I'm so excited about this. Pops. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate pops, and then I used to love it. I used to keep looking for the most hoppiest beers. Yeah. Then we've kind of like gone away from it. Mm. Now coming back. That is so um, juicy. That's yeah. mm. but that's big and hoppy. Mm. Um, I, what's the what's the this one? I think we what seven, seven and, and a half. half yeah. yeah. I'll be yeah. honest. Seven, seven point five. Like me a little bit. Of, you think so? Yeah. Mm. What, pers- yeah, like the initial taste going in is delicious and then it's just that aftertaste is just like a but this one seems a bit too this one seems less hoppy than the previous one really on, on the follow through for me no, maybe I've just gotten used to it now. well there are it is an oat pale ale yeah. so they throw oats in there to get the mouth feel yeah, a little nice better smooth, yeah. I've also just noticed that um, they have different artists for the different labels I was going to ask about that so the first one they've got your artwork the by yeah, and then right. it's got a guy's name and then on the second one artwork by and it's what's quite nice is that it links there. This one's got a, his, his website. Pitch Ross, pitch him. I know. Other one's exactly. got uh, his it, it business. Peel, so that's quite cool. Peel off label that has origami instructions on the back. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> or, or I think what you should do with Kratos is just do every bottle like that. So it's a peel off thing and you can fold a little holes nice. through it. Oh, oh, yes. 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 There we go. There we go. Empires are started. Sure. <laughs> this, is how, this is how things get going, guys. I like oh, this. Oh, I thought of another cool art idea yes. for Kratos. Just between, Maybe, the, just between the five of us. Yeah, yeah, just, just <laughs> us. Each of us has to draw like a... A horse. Like, oh, yeah, God. a horse. I'm a bad On the can. No, well, that's why it'll be so awesome. Mm. Yeah. Horson. Oh, oh. <laughs> get out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> and, then no. we, and then what do we do? Print it on the can. Yeah, just print it on the can. This one. Carl drew this one. And it looks <laughs> like Hell. something from, I don't know. A stick horse. He's special. Yeah. I quite like this one. See All these ideas. Wait till we get to the last can. <laughs> yeah, all right. Seahorse. But you know what? We're missing yeah. this. Why have we not oh. done a seahorse beer? Uh -huh. This kind of... Goza. Yeah. First of all, a salty... Pine. Salty <laughs> Can we don't have? Just are, you, are you talking about South Africa? Yes. So we don't. We're Look, missing this. this. I think you know. I think, and I will put my two cents in there. I think I think Richmond Hill are doing yes. sexy cans, like like Stella in the Bush same sort of vein as this yeah. sort of stuff. Stellenbosch are doing some cool stuff as well. Stellies, Stellies, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Stellies stuff is looking good. But I mean, this is very next level. It yeah. almost looks like a like a movie poster. No, but I think we there just needs to be more. Like this is exciting. You can mm. you bow with your eyes. Um, yeah, absolutely. And mm. we've got amazing street artists. Mm. You know, you do a collab with these guys. That'd be quite a cool idea. Get the street yeah. artists. Yeah, and some some cross pollination. I think there's yeah. a lot of collabs between absolutely, different yeah. brewers, but I think brewers and other creators. I mean, you got a problem is you got to pay those. This, this, <laughs> this, this, this famous what, people in the can't, 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 can't pay them. Do you yeah, yeah. pay them? Yeah. Yeah. Pay them yeah. Yeah. You pay them. Do you know how much exposure you're yeah. going to get from this? It's going to be amazing. Well, look, Everyone's you just got to follow them. The one thing you can that's say to them is, "Look, yeah. I'll give you some beer." Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's, everyone's, got a, everyone's got a, like a bit of a weak point there. Like, okay. Let's I just want to say something about beer labels in general. I, especially with this stuff, when you when I look at some of these cans, okay, I'm like, okay, in my head, the same way you look at like a. Castle light can or bottle or a beautiful girl. Guinness can or a beautiful. Mm, I wouldn't go beautiful girl, okay. but I'm d all I'm saying is what it looks like on the outside is not always, especially with these really hectic designs on the can, is not always what it, in my mind, translates to. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you can have yeah. a beautiful can and it's like, if you have something that's very in what look at in what context? So if you look at so context, gen no generally with generally. like if you look at these cans like brew. That could be a Domestos can, you know? <laughs> no, true. Do you know what I'm true, saying? Yeah. Like, like, I'm not... But the thing is, you taste it. Uh, thank God it doesn't taste like Domestos. But what it looks like on the outside is not... And is that important to directly translate to what tastes, what it tastes like inside? I think you get it, what I'm saying? I think it could... I, I get what you're saying. I think that you know, the American guys, they are so used to doing... Like, how can we make the next can even more over the top? So are you just designing it... For design's sake, or are you trying to actually, like you say, mirror what's on the inside? Exactly. Or, like it's a, like it's a full thread. You know, it's not just like a. This could be, you know, you could call it, you know, this could be any beer. Yeah. It doesn't look like a, a hazy. Yeah, it but you can, you can also peel that label or frame it and then put it in your house. You, you can. Know? You could, which is also a good thing. Well, yeah. Okay, so two things. One. The label artwork, from from a basic point of view, is is, is selling your your first can, you're selling your first beer, sure. and the, the what's inside is selling the second. Mm. Uh, so that that's that's quite important in terms of any artwork. And it doesn't have to be a a, a can design; it could be a tap handle or a bottle design. Do you think it's ridiculous to think that an artwork can affect the taste of a beer? Do we no, at all no. ask in that? No, but that's a good point. But uh, I agree Do with you. Do you because you, I mean, you are starting to see guys reaching and, and clutching at different stores straws to get a bit of attention. But yeah. they're talking about uh, hearing, uh, going beyond the, the senses of your your taste and your smell, going to to sight, to hearing, uh, to listening. There's there's a music and beer pairing that's you know, oh, uh, that's Pete Brown. Mm. Is it Pete Brown? Pete Brown does. He he, he does a, a music and, and beer pairing which. I haven't been lucky enough to witness, but I've heard it's magical. I think we had uh, one of our Joe Bird friends. Uh, I'm not going to say his name because maybe it was him, maybe it wasn't, it wasn't him. But is it ridiculous to think that the, the visuals of a can or label would affect your tastes? 
No, just, no I, I think I think. Do you think there's a, even, if it's, even if it's even micro? Mm. Definitely. Yeah. It's the same reason why if you watch a movie that you've watched a hundred times before, the feeling that you leave after watching that film is like everything tastes better. If it's a movie you like yeah, and everything is better and you feel better, it's the same. The thing is it might happen on a much more subtle level, mm. but if you had the same beer and it was just in a plain can, you taste mm. it, you're like, mm, it's okay. Yeah, Unless yeah. you were beer judging. I, I suppose, yeah. especially coming back to the second time, you your your perception of that beer is high, heightened. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So you'd be like, "Oh, this is a car horse. I know what yeah, these are. Yeah, you're buying. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking yeah. forward to this one. Yeah, you're buying yeah. into the brand then. I mean, which yeah. is, we're don't all, give we're them all too guilty much of. That's why you judge blind. So you don't. Yeah. If we know it's a CBC, you're gonna go. Well, there's a very good chance it's yeah. gonna be good. But if it just says beer on the can, you're like, "What was this cut? You know, like, yeah. it's, we're programmed yeah. like that. Man. I mean, t- yeah. Tony. So should we? T- so our car horse design is gonna be a horse and yeah. then beer. Beer. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, 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 that's a beer. Yeah. Horse beer. <laughs> but Tony, yeah. Tony, Tony said it earlier you drink with your eyes first yeah. and I think what's what's super important now that we're kind of getting to is the beers have got to back it up Yeah. yeah. so you can have the sexiest artwork and everything like that um, but then you drink the beer it's actually got to no, back it up a, so it becomes a holistic actually, thing yeah. there's a local you know? brewery I'm not going to say who it is but they, their stuff looks pretty good but when you open the beers up they taste like they took the beer and then they put half soda water in it so like it looks awesome and you buy it, and if you didn't know anything about beer, you'd probably be like, oh, this is not bad. Who is it, You God? do, you do, <laughs> you do realize that, apart from me, everyone listening is like, yeah. trying to wrap <laughs> 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 Trying to think, oh, who, who is, is, it? is it? Well, it's not <laughs> Mad Giant. I thought no, they no, 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 no. It's, 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 um, and the beer is great. Uh, they, they, they start with a color, and it's a rock. So, you know, yeah. uh, they, they, they yeah. look amazing. I'll and agree then with you, that. You, you drink it, and you're like, Oh, like there's a good beer in here somewhere, like you've said. Yeah, yeah, but it's just you can taste it. It's, and just it's in the background. Disappointing. Like but it's just, it's like, like just, just like reduce it down a bit in a pot, and then we can make it a bit more intense, and then we can drink so, it. So, so this, this, this ties on nicely from what we had last week. And yes, we need to get to the next one. This ties on nicely from what uh, a chat we had last week with Roscoe at his brewery in Happy Days, mm. and he his his thought process is that he has a a recipe and beers that he wants to make but he has an an sab ex sab brewer who comes in mm. and who helps him adjust the recipe and that ex sab um, brewer his mentality is that whether you agree or don't agree with this his mentality is that south africans don't drink high alcohol beers mm. they don't once yeah. beers over 5.5 and that's yeah. that's considered no, no, high yeah, so all of roscoe's so. beers are <coughs> the, his highest is 5.2 okay. and his beers are below five so they're about 4.5 to 5.2 but he's also in dirt or kwazulu natal isn't he he's in the midlands so yeah. this it does they're, get quite hard in the summer but they're also a bit further behind the craft curve so okay yeah. Cape Town's like where it's all you're touching into a whole bunch of <laughs> other stuff <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold that thought hold that thought <laughs> but let's come back to what we're talking about in terms of the, the lightness of beers yes um i forgot where i was going with this but like it's 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 an interesting concept to kind of play with because we all want a six percent we all want the chewy the heavy um maybe we can put ourselves into the brackets of beer connoisseurs um or people who want something let's chewy do that. like this, but <laughs> let's <laughs> let's but, do that. But the nine, yeah. but we always come back to this: the ninety nine percent of people out there, this this kind of stuff scares them. Yes, they, they're not going to go for this. I mean, people whereas if they have a a light a light red ale from the company that you were talking about, yeah. or from another company, if it's a a red ale, but it doesn't stylistically fits in with the BJCP or what we perceive as a red ale or stouts. Should that matter because they're, they're trying to get other people? There are different yeah. ways of arguing with this. Sure. I want you guys to. I'm not trying to say I'm right. I <laughs> no, want look, you guys. They, to they're trying to. Those, what those guys are trying to do is, is make a beer in, in different styles for every man. Like, that's their market. Like, we'll just. Everyone must drink it, so it can't be too challenging. And these are challenging. I mean, well, that's, that's the, the thing. lightest one. And it's like, yes, it blows your socks off. Yeah. So if you put out a red ale, an amaral that's so powerful, no one's going to want to drink it. Then you run in South Africa. If you don't sell beer, you close. Yeah. You know, we, these guys. It's there's a bazillion people in America, so it's the different markets. Yeah. I think. Um, I think what you said. I think it's right. South Africans don't like 
No, well, South, South, Africa, South Africans like to drink a lot of beer. Do you remember back in the day, for rugby games, everyone was black yeah. label. They were like, oh, that's the, that's the strong one. The 5.5, that's yeah. the strong yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. There was like, that was the thing growing up. Black label is the strong one. Drink that, right? Nowadays, also, I mean, but black label is one of the most popular beers in the country. So uh, think about that. Absolutely, and yeah. Is it because it's a good beer? Or is but it that's just different. It's high I think that's it different demographics. <laughs> you, it's, 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 it's quantity and quality. Yeah. Ooh. Jeez. Sorry, that should have been at the mic. No, no. Okay, now we're stepping whoa, up. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, did sorry, not see that table. coming. So <laughs> it's like a, describe the color. I can whoa, see. that's I a blush. Like that's blush. Blush. That's that's like blush. blush is, yeah, that is, this looks like, like a, a great, that's great blush. Oof. Yes, sir. Peaky roll. Okay, this so we've a got an imperial IPA now. Yes. So we're heading into the 9.5% ABV. Because a 6 and 7.5 was wasn't enough. Yeah. Like, oh, wait, no. just one more thing on the on the high alcohol stuff. Like, a lot of European countries grew up with that stuff. Like, we didn't grow up with that stuff. We grew up with lagers being 5%. So I think it's like a what you're used to thing. Mm. And in America, they also had that. But then when the craft thing happened, everyone was like, let's make it bigger, 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 bigger. Yeah. And that's become their norm. So, I don't know, maybe in a few years' time we'll get there. I think, I think, you right. actually, no. I, I think that it has to change. It, because, it will, yeah. Because be, everyone's going, oh, at the moment, everybody is like, oh, craft beer, I can't drink it. And, and then slowly they're like, oh, yeah, I had this beer, and that's, that's, that's a craft beer, right? So, even that, I mean, for us, we it's, it, it doesn't make a difference what it looks like. We just like, as long as the beer's good. Yeah. But for the average consumer, if they see something that looks a bit weird for now, it's still going to be yeah. weird. But if they try a beer that they feel is like, okay, this tastes pretty good. It's like, and then they see the can, they're like, whoa, didn't expect yeah. that. Then slowly it'll start becoming mm-hmm. a bit more accepted. But we're still going to drink low alcohol beer. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be It's great to have the, the option. Right, he has a 10, he has an 11. But it's, we're all still going to drink a lot of beer. I think there's yeah. so many different um, demographic, or different uh, parts of, different markets in terms of different Whoa. people and what they want but there was a there was another podcast or an argument that I listened to where as <laughs> <That's good. laughs> you're right Danny <laughs> there was another an argument that I heard where if you if you want to have get oh. someone who doesn't know beer if you want them to drink a beer you want them to drink the best type of version yes. of that yes. beer of course, yeah. don't give them so a watered down a red rock <laughs> uh, a lower end it's version um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. no but I mean, every every beer has their place in absolutely. the market absolutely but i think when when oh. when we, when when it's us specifically us connoisseurs or people who love beer and when we want to convert or get people in, onto the bandwagon of drinking craft beer you want them to drink it the best type of version of that beer. Yeah. So course, you want them to, you know, we've had this, to drink this. We, we had this conversation, myself and Greg have had this conversation so many times. Yeah. You've got two American people that have come over to South Africa or two British people. You, you have to take them to two breweries where you go. Where you go, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's the benchmark. Like, well, I mean, you know, this <laughs> experience. One, one day. <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a book one to get in here. <laughs> no, but, it's, but it's, it's, it's so true and it's always the same three. Yeah. It's like yeah. Darling, CBC or... Jack Black, Jack Aiga, Black Aiga, Aiga, Aiga. Aiga. So Aiga. it's like, that's what it comes down to. It's like, where are you going to take someone? Because that's exactly mm. what it is. You put, put your best foot forward. You have to. You've got to market the best. Yeah. You've got to give them the best. What are we What are we thinking about this? this? Yeah. Well, okay, so, so, so yeah, there's a lot. There's a, talk, that's, talk, that's why I'm going to re- I'm gonna read my way around the can. Talk it is uh, Imperial India Pearl Ale with honey, wildflower honey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. yeah. <laughs> Mango puree, raspberry puree, and lime juice. Yeah. And you get all of it. That's all like a, the colors of the rainbow. Show them here. It's almost like a cocktail. Nine and a half percent. Nine and a half. Casual. 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 Yeah, that's, like a, that's like an often it works. Very trippy. Uh, uh, like um, one of the pub. There is the mango puree. Guys, can I be as the bold tartish. as yeah. to yeah. Um, yeah. Do, yeah. Do, nice. do a little experiment? I, I don't know if you've. Well, I've spoken about this before, but there's an ambient sniffing range which I've been yeah. trying to uh, yeah. get people to do. If you stick your nose in, yes, all the way in, you get a certain <laughs> hot, a bitterness. <laughs> so in. Yeah. But I, I've got something different, and it's going to sound funny. I'm actually being very serious. Is if you just 
Sneak your nose up to the glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sneak up on it. Sneaking up and on. We're actually meaning to get a close up on yes. it. Where we were. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just come up. Oh, it's the. It's, the... Just, it's like you're peering into the cauldron. Just... <laughs> it's the aroma so trail. So just try. I get a difference. <laughs> yeah. I get a difference in the smell. No, you. you I do. It's, it's more like a, a. It's more pure. It's more. Yeah, yeah, man, well, you I get, get the fruity. A guava. Yeah, spot. I was just going to say guava. Yeah, guava is there. Yeah, cool. So it's very different from this to I suppose yes. it's like half half the burners, half half the yeah. Yes! <laughs> Ambient stiff and rain! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Dude, when we did it when we did a, a tasting with Do- with Dougal from the issue. Like That's sherbet. actually on the yeah, tasting yeah. notes, well done. But over here, yeah. if you stick it over here, it's definitely sherbet. So if you s- sneak your nose, you get to the guava. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sneak into the guava. How do you find the guava? You yeah. sneak your nose in. <laughs> yep. Um, I haven't tasted. You were saying you were saying with Dougal from Innocent Gun. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's three distinct tasting or sniffing zones within a glass that you can right up at the top and then in the middle and at the bottom. And there's actually different mm. esters and different phenols yeah. or whatever it is, not 100% sure, but uh, that give you the different characteristics at the three separate levels. <coughs> I really like that one. I read the same, that's, yeah, with whiskey, it's the same yeah. thing. But if you smell the end so of the glass, I think some of the more volatile volatile aromas will go lighter up to the top. This is, this is we're educating, guys. Can we, I tell we, you, so we're learning and we're educating here. This is uh-huh. gross. So, so when I look at that can <clears throat> and I pour the beer and I see the color of the beer it and makes I sense. sneak it up, yeah, it makes sense. Right. Like that, that, that to me, yeah, well the colors of the rainbow. Well done to choosing the artist, and well done to choosing how the beer was going to look, smell, taste. Well, congratulations, whoever made that beer, if you can hear me. Yeah. Ever. Right, well let's take back. Well done. <laughs> I will. I will really say good. it is. It is maybe. This is a personal preference. It is a bit too boozy for me. There is too much. So. What is it? When, and especially when you breathe in. I was just going to say, as when you breathe in, you can actually feel like that. There's a lot of alcohol in the. In the in the, in the, on the tongue there. Mm. So, well, I'm sure. I mean, if you read the ingredients, I mean, I think there's probably a lot of sugar in here that things needed to eat and uh, get rid of mm. uh, in secondary. Well, but as it builds up, you can actually taste all that fruits. Mm. Yeah, I think, sure. I think if Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was 35 years old yeah. and he won a golden ticket <laughs> to the most amazing brewery in the world, that would be that would be the, the beer. beer. <laughs> that would be the first beer that they get. Here we go. So this, these two guys are the same artists. These guys, same artists. Oh, um, Carl. Yeah. You touch on something which um, I want to talk about. Yeah. Eating at the table. Sorry. Yes, I'm listening. Durban Brewers, KZN oh, Brewers, yes, been yeah. behind the curve. It's yeah. I've just I've just come back from spending a wonderful week um, in the Midlands, in Durban, in Belito. I went all around and I, I had some amazing beers. Um, but I think right. there, there's okay, are you are you coming back? There no, is a, there, back. there is a perception about the rest of the country in terms of Western Cape. Yes, that's and it's. it's it's difficult when you are from the Western Cape and you go into another place mm. um, and you're trying to... You don't want to step on anyone's toes. But you, don't, you, you, don't want, no, but you don't want to say, <laughs> like, this is this one beer is not as good as a beer in Cape Town. It's, it's, sure. it's not trying to be like that, but... Uh, how do you go about that? Man, it's a tough one, eh? Because we've obviously been to a lot of places. Is, 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 it, is, is it a... You, you've tr- you guys have yeah. travelled... Is it a fair assumption to say that? Look, the, the West, is it is it is it? Can we agree that the Western Cape is got the most bros? That's one we can agree on. Do they have the? It's got best the most and the best. Let's be honest. I mean, like, if I had to be completely honest, the, the Western Cape, bar Mad Giant up in Joburg, has Cape Town has the biggest selection, the most exciting brewers, the guys who are pushing the envelope. The rest of the country, there's there's some there's some good breweries, but. They make like a core range of beers, you know, in, in Cape, which is, and then they're just happy to churn out that core range. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you people have got to drink beer, make a core range, there's nothing wrong with that. And, but here you've got someone like Devil's Peak who, who consistently put out probably more beers than anyone. Once-off beers, collab beers, they were doing a whole bunch of stuff way back. 
And I think that's what pushes things forward. Yeah. And you can't hate on that because you don't live here. And you, you do hear a lot of that on social media. Cape Town, Cape Town's the click, blah, blah, blah. Make better beers. Make, make your click better than this click. Mm. Don't complain about this click. You know, just make better beers. Yeah, so, and it's not, I, don't, I also don't think that Cape Town as a, you know, the Cape Town beer community is not, if anything, they're trying to get the whole country involved. Yeah, you want to get everyone yeah. on board. That's yeah. what it feels like down here. But, you know, from, from outside of, of the um, area, it kind of, I'm sure it must feel like, well, these guys got the cool No, it is. There, and there's, definite, there's a definite vibe. I mean, we get it when we go to, I was chatting with one of the guys from the homebrewers in, in Joburg. I mean, that, there's definitely that vibe, you know. But, but although their homebrew scene in Joburg is much bigger than down no, here, sure. But there's like a, there's definitely like a well, Cape Town, Cape Town vibe, you know. It is what it is, I'm, and I can't change that. Thing stuff, is, Cape Town make better beers. Make better beers. Make better That's beers. What it comes down to. Cape Town naturally kind of has that click because <coughs> all the wine, like most the of the yeah, wine there's a lot of creativity. Yeah. Tony, you're making your food, yeah. which I mean, is weird. The yeah. food's, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing is, more restaurants. Is that true? Can we say that? I think yeah, it's got all, the, all, the, all, all the, the really, well, not all the really good food. ones, but like there's a lot of, most of the really good ones. I mean, the top restaurants, most of them all. Yeah. Yeah. And the top breweries. Yeah. 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 I mean, so same for you, Joe. <laughs> 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 no, but it's like, this is my, like, this conversation, like we're sitting here as Cape Tonians, well, I used to be from Joburg, but it's like, we should be having these conversations with the guys from Joburg because yeah, they, no, no. We, we assuming as well that they think like that and we get that vibe and you're like, oh yeah, you guys kept on here. But they might not be thinking like that and they also probably do want to get involved as, as much as we're sure. They do. actually have no excuse. I mean, the guys like <laughs> Mad Giant, you know, they make excellent no, beers. No, but they, they also make exciting beers. They, they're always pushing stuff. Yeah, they do so a cannabis beer now. They're, they're always trying to do matter where you are. So. You can but also, make good beer. Yeah. But no, if but your that, market's but not responding to it, like in as you said, going back to what you're saying, yeah. all the beer nerds are down here, you know. So when Devil's Peak launches something, people are salivating. Mm. Up in Joburg, it's less so. Well, I'm just assuming now, but it feels like it's less so. So those guys there make beers that people are going to drink. People are going to buy and sell. Like if you're releasing a nine and a half percent hazy, you'll probably have a couple of guys buying it there. But the most of the people, you know, you're yeah. still trying to get them to. Also a different market. Craft, I mean, yeah. Joburg, are, for me, I mean, I was born in Joburg, so they <laughs> love the hard liquor. Like those guys hard drink living, but <laughs> whiskey, yeah. brandy, hard liquor. Yeah, they true. drink it like water. Yeah. And maybe they're not into beer. I don't know, man. Oh. You've been to Capital Craft Festival. It's no, fucking guys, huge. Guys it's huge. Like it's like fucking beer, yeah. huge. They like it. I just think free alcohol, free beer. <laughs> yeah. That's what they could yeah. be there. I don't know. I just think. There's no excuse. I mean, if you really want to make good beer and you're open to solutions, I think you've got to open to yeah. different. I think um, you've got to have a market to buy. It. That, that's what it comes down to. If you go to if, if you go to Happy Days and he's doing a, a 10% Belgian, then no one's buying it. He's not going to keep making a 10% Belgian. Sure. Yeah. But if he's selling a light lager by the bucket load, that's what he's going to make. Yeah. Mm. And I think it's and you've got to get the, the the guys to evolve and want to try new things. It's also a lot uh, easier for Cape Tonians <coughs> to collaborate. Because we sure. are in a smaller area, it's like, oh, we just need to drive down to so and so and do the thing. That's so the one thing I noticed about Durban. It's it's big. Yeah, this space. sorry sorry uh, KZN. Yeah, it's the, a big big place. It, it's yeah. not. I, it's, uh, I admit that I was very naive in terms of how far you had to travel, but it's you, you travel yeah, there if yeah. you want to go visit places. We right now we can get up now and go to how many awesome breweries. Yeah, you know, like from here, it's like. <laughs> relative to how far you would have to travel it's like i mean if mad giant is in the center of town if i'm not mistaken in joe yeah. uh, yeah. i mean if center of town from if you're going from the west the east no, the south or the north it's like it's minimum. a slip to get it's an there hour trip there exactly. but I, I think just to wrap this up i think as as proud as we are to be from the western cape and haven't we got some great beers we we're still not on this kind of level no hell no and that's it's but it's it's that kind of uh void or, or suction that we're going towards we want to achieve a great a higher level and that's what we keep i say we as the western cape brewers we're trying to get to a, I'd, at least i imagine that most of us want to get to a level where we're selling all these amazing different weird funky beers yeah. and they're selling yeah. and people are drinking them yeah and we should be we should be aiming for that perfect ideal situation 
and I don't think it's unattainable. Mm. Mm. I think the market, every, there, there are a lot of factors that need to come into play, but I think we should, everyone, every brewer in South Africa should be always looking for improvements in so many different aspects. I've got a one liner for you to wrap it up. Go for it. Where the, the type and style of beer can be dictated by the market and be regional and everything. However, the quality of your beer should be non-negotiable. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Right? Yes. Yes. Put that speaking, on a speaking, t-shirt. Speaking of quality beer. Okay, so before, <coughs> can Wait, I just what's say going <laughs> What's going on here? We got two. two. We got two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, before we open one. Thanks, of Jim. Thanks, <laughs> Alex. I say, sorry, I just want to ask something. Okay, yes. based on the design and I, this is so cool. I'm an artist, guys. I'm trying to look at the creative side of it. Okay, so what I'm trying to say yeah, is, yeah. if you had to look, if you look at this can, yeah. Yeah, yes. tell me when you look at it. Let's show the What do you people. expect without reading any of the words? That means business. Yeah, <laughs> like that. <Yes. laughs> it's a. Bit, no. It's a TV game. It's, uh, it's there's a it's got so it's a it's a ninja. What's this called? Ninja versus ninja unicorn. versus unicorn double up here. There we go. So you look at that. You're like, okay, I'm about to enter into the matrix now. Like, what? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Yeah. What is gonna happen? It feels and like it's serious. So Dude, already, already we've decided kind of what the beer is gonna big, taste like. Yeah. Dude, I've been waiting four years to taste this beer. <laughs> it's a big day for four me. years, bro. <laughs> They're not suck fireworks. Yeah, <laughs> fireworks. It's an unfiltered double up here. Okay, let's see. Oh, so, that's oh, oh, I'm pointing a little bit hefty. Well, you guys can pour as hefty as you want. I'm good. I'm sorted. Yeah, All these surprises. Uh, Is there a third one? Some of us no, need no, to no, function no, no. later. I'm, I'm, I'm having a. Uh, I'm gonna have a proper glass of this. This Whoa. one's good. Wow, colors. So okay, so Greg, this this is a bit of a personal beer. You, this was your first one. Yeah, Ooh. listen, I mean, it, uh, to Ross's point just now, I saw the ca- I saw the can and the label or whatever, Ninja Unicorn, and I couldn't get my hands on it. Um, I was I was limited to what I could bring back to SA, and this was one of the ones that didn't make it, which uh, I was pretty gutted about. But ha- this has been one of the you know we said earlier that these guys stepped out to not make the same beer twice. They do, however, have a core cool range of beers, and this is one of them. So there's, they've got different beers that involve ninjas and unicorns and science and this and that or whatever. But this is the ninja versus unicorn. This is on their core cool range, like I say. Double IPA, unfiltered. This is too much. This, this, is, this is like for the, like, like the complete top heads. Like when you just need like an IV of hop oil into no, it's, the, it's, directly it's, into the vein. I'm trying to explain it. That's what that's what you are. It's more than um, let, what's 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 the South what's South Africa's biggest imperial IPA? Capital Capitalops. Capitalops Capitalops from or maybe CBC. Warlord or Darling. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe Darling or Warlord. That's a nine and a half. But even even the complexity on this when you smell this, it's just there's. Oh, it, it, it's, it's, I, I can't, I can't, this game, man. I can't pick out which hop has been. It's just, it's just a giant of. But of you hop. get a little bit of malt sweetness as well. Yeah. Right? Once you, once you so swim your way it. through. What do we think? So how far are we uh, putting our nose to the glass? <laughs> yeah. like are, are we sneaking, are we, are we up, sneaking up on the glass on this? Dunking our nose in. Is this you a know what? It's a dunk of sneak. I, I did that. When you sneak up, you get a bit of sweetness. It's so intense that I don't think it's you can. Differentiate between so small. See, when you sneak up on it, it's got quite a sweetness. On yeah, it. like it's it's tropical on the on the on the sneak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tropical on the sneak, yeah. hard on the dunk. <laughs> <laughs> sneak and dunk. Going to um, do the sneak and dunk. Okay, everyone, can everyone do the um, sneak and dunk? We're going to start with the dunk. <laughs> yeah, this is so, good. This is really good. Oh, so right. nicely balanced. Yeah. It's a big sip of that. And as yeah. hoppy as it, it is, it's the, you know what's. Bitterness doesn't linger, and there's no there's no uh, alcohol in the tongue as there was on this one, yeah. or at least there's not as much. But I think because like we've been talking now, there's a, there's a bit of a theme. There's a maltiness. Yeah, eight percent on this one. Really? Do you know what? I feel yeah. like this is almost for me, almost like CBC Imperial. Really? So it's, got, so? it's got that. MP- See, the CBC is malty. It's you know that CBC that Imperial. Well, he's German, eh? Yeah. <laughs> there's this. There's a good malt body there. This one, it's like a reverse. You flip in it, and it's it's hop forward. 
Well, that's the thing. I mean, you look at something like, you know, they bring a Lagunitas IPA, uh, Jack Black, this, that. I mean, that's a very malt forward, I would say, IPA, where this, like you say, the hops are front and center, but you've got the malt to back it up. Did you guys have You know, it's not, it's not like you've thrown a wheelbarrow of hops at this thing and forgotten about the malt forward. You've just reminded me of yeah. the Jack Black mega hop. Did you have that at Cape Town Festival beer? It won. It came first. Uh, yes, I did. Maybe. Uh, well, it, it did come first. Jack Black Brewing Company uh, came first. No, 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 I remember the uh, beer. Cape Town uh, Festival beer yes. for their mega hop. It was. Yes, it, I, I and remember. You know that. What? I think it was almost something very similar. I don't remember much of that festival. <laughs> Good. I'm going to say it. Uh, I prefer this over the hazy ones. No. I mean, I, like, Even I don't, me. I don't mind the hazy beers and the, I know the whole haze craze, and I'm not one of those guys who's going to. I don't hate on it because it's hazy and whatever, whatever. I just, I don't know. I, when they first came out, I really liked them. But, and these are really good examples of them. But man, I can we get a, can we get a, a, a vote? Who wants, whose favorite was the first one? Me. Okay, one. Second one? Me. I, I enjoy the second one. Third well, yeah, one? between these two. Yeah, me too. Yeah. These two, I'm because they're so good for us too. Yeah. Last, last one. I'd, Last one, are we all? Yeah. You, Dude, I you think got, I, you've got an emotional connection. Yeah, I think I think the rainbow was fantastic, yeah, but yeah, yeah, for me this has been. So like we say, okay, four, so this four, is four, a, four a years on the cards, and it doesn't. It's just point. delicious. I yeah. can tell you, this thing will teach you a lesson. Jeez, it ain't saying too much. And you know what about <laughs> lessons, <laughs> don't you, Tony? <laughs> in the shower. In the shower. <laughs> in the shower. <laughs> Tony's got a, a famous habit of peeking in the shower. After, after every beer we're going to message Tony tomorrow and say Tony did you enjoy the podcast what, hey, what, 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 what podcast <laughs> when he wakes up in the show yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> where am I can I tell you what the, I'm, I, I'm, this is might be a bit of a stretch but do you know what this reminds me of Go this reminds me of the first time I tried the old King's Block Ash oh, oh, I said it sure. honestly it, it, there's, there's something about there was something about how it used to be. I tell it you, I tell you, it might not taste the same, but I think there's that. There's something about it. There's, it. Like a, 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 there's a there's a maybe a brain cell that's mm. triggering mm. the same. So I'm also going for off off the tangent here, but off on a different. Yeah, this is this rails. is actually got like a nut. The, the finish is actually quite sweet because it's, it's hefty, it's, but it's yeah, it's not like that that, super that raw hop like. Yeah, ah. like. <laughs> Speaking Take of blockhouse, has anyone tried the new one? Mm-hmm. They've dry hop. They've got a new label. New That's label. It's label got double dry hop. Double dry hop. I wonder if the new label is going to affect a completely the taste? new beer. Apparently, it so. could. Yeah. No, I think it will. Hmm. No, I haven't tried it. We Guys, we've spoken it. about a lot this show. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's we've Your spoken wife's about, about to murder you. Dude. We've spoken about <laughs> labels. We've spoken about <laughs> uh, that shit up. <laughs> provincial uh, separation. We shed on Joburg. No, we love. We talked about different color rocks. Light flavored beers or light alcoholic beers. Mm-hmm. Where, where, this was a good show. What, what else should we talk about? Because we do I, need to wrap. Can I punt something? Punt something. I'm going to shamelessly do this. So you have to. So Shackleton, to Shackleton Brewery ah. and Lionheart, the bakery, or oh, not bakery, the patisserie, sorry, patisserie. have done a collab which will be available at the Cape. Town, Woodstock, Woodstock Winter Beer Fest. Woodstock, Took the words out of my mouth. Woodstock Winter Beer Fest, which I'm super excited about. That's um, coming up at, soon. What is the collab, Ross? So the collab is <laughs> at a port, so yeah. we made a beer mixed with peanut butter, gluten free. Oh. I'll have you know. Because there's no gluten, gluten in malt, eh? <laughs> no, well, <laughs> the, cookies, the cookies were gluten free. <laughs> so it's a peanut butter cookie porter. Mm. Sounds amazing. It's going to be. Did, uh, like I saw that on social media. You actually put in cookies. We threw cookies into the mash. It was uh, the most amazing. One it of looked amazing. angelic. It I looked mean, I love brew days with you guys. Are like a nothing's didn't you have? Top that. Didn't you have Enya playing in the background? <laughs> <laughs> there was some sort of played it during fermentation. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, yeah. Anyway, so that's my little punt, please. Uh, we'll be yeah, there if you're going to be there. Go drink. I think it's going to sell out quite quickly. 200 Dude, meters just, of amazing. That, that is the one festival where I will be in the queue early. Yes. I'm yes. not going to rock up. No, so Johnny come, be, Johnny come right. lately. No. Let me see. I'm going to be... I'm going to be... Actually... Because the queues are... Dude, I can't wait. I've got a score. I think, I think they're... I'm, I'm, you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try and get a me- media pass. I'll probably you mean say, you don't have one already? No, probably be like, you don't have one? Shut up, Troy. Just get into the queue. Just get it. Back in the line, buddy. 
and so that's it, my story. It has been a that has been a Woodstock Winter Beer Fest has been a rock star festival for the last couple of years. Yeah. Last year it was at the castle. I think they have made a plan with uh, people that want to actually drink beer as opposed to tasting everything. So there will be, I uh, think, hopefully, other ways to get to get beer, not massive queues. Um, so whisper on the wind is that's been kind of sorted but it is at the castle again it's on the 27th of july and there are a lot of collabs the shackleton lionheart one is it really the 27th of july yeah, yeah. it's like is it's it really? now two weeks know. two weeks time yeah two weeks guys Don't we got the media pass yeah we got media pass <laughs> we got media what? pass <laughs> what <laughs> she's like tony and i have to buy tickets oh. No, you, no, you say, know what? Just go to the front of the queue and say you've got a card or something. They'll tell you who. And they'll say, no. <laughs> <laughs> Back of the line. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. See you there. We should. Um, maybe that's like a competition or something. Like if you, if you have the the best, uh, not a pickup line, but the best uh, entrance line to get into a festival, then you secure yourself a, a, a tasting. I don't know from who, and I don't know what competition. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if you're listening and you know someone, are you going to be flying yeah. then? Um, like from previous experience, no, it's not a good idea because uh, okay. it just it gets messy. Yeah. So you you want to enjoy sense. yourself? Yeah. Maybe. What do you do a podcast? <laughs> Maybe post fest podcast. podcast. Yeah. What about the roaming what about podcast? podcast? Yes, yeah, so I did that at Clarence. Like we got we got very. What about sitting in, in the fact, middle? In fact, you know what? In the middle, you just sit with. Just make it with us. We'll sit. We'll we. Our, I. Well, I'm speaking. <laughs> That's actually not a bad half. idea. We Let's just do that. Five of us. Everyone, just you, everyone can go out at different times. Get different people coming in. You keep you keep it to an half an hour, hour long podcast. Right, folks. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm on that note, just thinking you. of that. I'm exhausted, and I can see the time. That's I know that idea, the wife is probably calling. And guys, this was fun. Mm. Yeah. I think we always have fun. Thanks to and Tebow and Troy for the podcast. Thank, Thank you, you very much. We, we, did, we did a right. bit, of, bit of a bottling this morning for the car We did a, bo- we did a bottling we this a, morning. A, a, a little start two weeks ago, but now we've got it in the bottle. So hopefully... Jet Black Stallion. If you, if you know yeah. us and you, and you want some, you know what? We, we're all about sharing. We'll, we'll give you a little, yeah. little taster. Yeah. <laughs> if there's enough. Yeah. But thank you to Jim. Jim, uh, yeah. Jim and uh, sure. Alex at very Pipeworks. Good. Jim, who is now in Copenhagen with his missus. Getting pipeworks that side, and uh, Alex over in the states at the brewery, and Jonks for getting it yeah. from there to here. Really thank, you. thank you. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Yeah, guys, thank you, and to all our listeners, see you again soon. Cheers. Yeah. Tasty. Nice.